Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to sublimate this beautiful Queens don't do drama, we do business. So, let me show you the process. I love it. Let's get started. Okay guys, I'm over here in Silhouette Studios and I ended up getting this file from Creative Fabrica. And it came with a bunch of, um, a whole bunch of files. Let me see if I can go to the website and look for them. My downloads. And it is called Black, Black Lives Matter Quotes Bundles. And I got this off of Creative Fabrica. I got a couple of ones today also, which is pretty awesome. But um, that's the file that I'm using. And if I click on it, you see all the files that it comes with. So now I'm at my computer and I was cutting out a rhinestone file from Craftable Things. And this is going to be my next project. So let's go on to Creative Fabrica and see what we have. So it is a lot of files that you get with this. I think it's 20 of them. And you can sublimate, you can do t-shirts, you can do um, mugs, tumblers. You can sublimate anything you would like, guys. So, with that being said, now I'm going to go and get this printed. And I already have my mug prepped and ready. And I got this mug from Condi. And Condi is an amazing website to get your merchandise from. They give you deals. They check up on you. They call you up. And they make sure that everything is good. So here goes my images. And I did this on sublimation paper. And now, right now, what I'm going to do is just... Cut this up just a little bit and see the size that I need to cut. So let me get my ruler and now my rotary cutter. And I'm going to cut this up. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut this down to size. I have two images here and I'm going to try to cut them as straight as possible. So there goes one. Then I'm going to turn the paper, save that paper right there. You still got enough room to print on it. And then I'm going to make sure that it is even between the two sizes because I am using both for them because I'm going to put one on each side. Now I'm just going to cut the other side up. And now to start doing the next step. So there goes my images. And I'm going to dry fit it and making sure that I have enough room. Um, I see that I might have to cut it down a little bit. So let's do that really quick. I got my ruler again. And we are going to slice that up and take a little bit off of the bottom also. This is so cool this image and it is meant for the perfect girl so now i have my heat my mug press heating up and then let me cut this other side up also okay so now that i have both my images This is what and it looks like. I got my heat tape. And here goes my mug. Now, first things first. I think I got my heat gloves. And my butcher paper. Because, you know, we are dealing with sublimation. You don't want ink to go everywhere. So, let me cut this down to size. Because it's still a little bit too big. 
Okay, so here goes my alcohol. Now I just have a paper towel and I'm just going to pour some on and we are going to rub my mug down. Now make sure that before you put any paper close to it, make sure that the cup is dry. Alcohol evaporates very quick in the air, so but just make sure and don't touch your mug again. So now I'm just prepping my mug press. Okay, so now that my mug is dry, as you can see, it's blank on both sides. And I'm going to start putting my image where I want it to be. Now, I'm using both image for both sides. So while you're holding the cup, one image is facing outwards where people could see. And then I also put an image on the other side. So you can see the image every time you take a sip of your delicious coffee so now I got the sublimation paper down where I want it and I'm gonna add some heat tape now guys make sure that this heat tape does not transfer any color over Amazon somehow mixed up their heat tape and some of their gold heat tape is leaving a lot of stains and messing up your product and that's not good when these things don't cost cheap. So I'm just finishing taping up my paper. And I'm going to put some on the top just to make sure. And now I think, yeah, this is the best tape dispenser you can invest in. I just love it. It is a hot mess when you have to be able to cut it by hand. So now what I just did was re-wiped my cup again with the alcohol wipe because I did have my fingerprints on it. And you do not want that because that will smudge your print. So now I'm adding the other paper image on the other side. And I'm going to... Hmm... I might leave it right there. So now let me add some sublimation tape. Okay, so now let's prep the other side with the image. I'm just adding some heat tape. And I'm going to put it all the way up to the rim. And make sure you pull tightly, guys, okay? Because you want it to be sealed. So it's all done, all wrapped up. Next step is to put your butcher paper. Now for your butcher paper, if you just cut it down to size, it's quick and easy to do. So now... I'm finishing off the mug and the next step is going to be to put it into the mug press now the in the mug press it takes about uh, six minutes so once I put it in we're gonna count down six minutes well I'm not gonna count down six minutes the machine will count down six minutes so with that being said let's put our mug in and we'll see the results once it is done. And the mug press is simple and easy. There's no wondering if it's going to happen or not. It works perfect. Now, at the beginning of this, I was cutting out a template from My Craftable Things. And guys, if you don't know about her, head over there. Check her out. I'm telling you. She's an amazing designer. She's also on YouTube. And she, her files are phenomenal. So if you can't design, go buy her files. You won't regret it. So now, I'm just going to put this on the side. And I'm just cleaning up a little bit. And then, I'm just waiting on the mug press to finish. I'll be back. 
Okay, guys, my cup is all done. So now I'm going to grab my heat mat. I'm going to add my heat gloves on. And we are going to see how my mug came out. So let me flip this up and let's take this out. Now be really, really careful, guys. This mug is super hot. So I'm just adding my glove. And now let's take the butcher paper off. You have to do this pretty slow. And the ink went through, so that's a okay feature. And now, oh, these gloves right here melted. Let me go grab some more. So I got some different gloves on. These are heat gloves, but they're not that great. So now, let me see if I can rub this off. Yes, it's coming off. Okay, so this glove right here, I can still feel the heat, but let's do this really. Okay, now let's peel the first side off. Now be really careful, like I said, this is really hot. And I'm peeling it off really carefully. It's hard taking the tape off with these gloves. Oh my God, look at that, guys. That came out so good. And all the ink came off the paper. Oh wow, I love it. I know she's gonna love it too. I'm just wiping the bottom of the cup because it had black stuff on it from the gloves. So now let's peel the other side. Okay, so look at that image. All the ink is gone. Guys, it's sublimated perfect. And now this is how it looks on both sides. That looks darn good. I just love that image. It is such a beautiful way that queens don't do drama. Drama is not for queens. We don't do that. So let me show you my cup on a different angle. Hey guys, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to leave a link below in the description about this Creative Fabrica website that it is having a sale, $4.99 a month. They bill you once a month. You have over 6 million things to choose from. And you cannot beat $4.99 a month. That means that is $59 for the whole entire year. It locks into place, okay guys? You get a commercial license where you can sell your products and you don't have to worry about anybody coming after you because you have a license to create as many products as you want with that. So guys, click on that link below, okay? I so do appreciate it. Okay guys, so what you think? Ain't that a gorgeous image? That came out awesome. Well, there goes my project for today. Keep an eye out for the rhinestone shirt that I'm going to make next. And I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much, so much for watching. You guys stay blessed. Smooches. Bye now. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my project. Thank you so much. Bye now.